Okay, this video is going to give you all the information you need to protect yourself from something like this. You know, oh, you don't want to see this. This gets expensive. And let's let's start right with homeowners insurance. A lot of people don't realize that you need to have a, a separate rider or a endorsement to protect your home from a sump pump failure. You know, in New York, by default, it doesn't come with a standard policy. So you better call your agent and ask them if you've got it. And uh, if you don't put it on, it's not going to cost you a ton. It will give you at least 10000 coverage. Uh, you know, I, I've got a, a links for all of this information in the information uh, section of my video. And uh, one of the links is going to be from this guy at the Murray Group. And he explains that, you know, hey, it's just not in there by default, especially in New York. So that's definitely worth watching. So go ahead and get that. Now, let's start with the basics. We want to put together the best sump pump systems we can, and they're not going to be cheap. So, but what we want to do is go with companies that have been around a long time. Now, I'm not sure what's available in your area. Most of the stuff is available in Amazon and, uh, but Wayne is a good company. They've been around from the 40s, you know. But the company that makes the best pumps, I think, is Zoller. They've been around since the 30s, and you always want to make sure that you're getting a, a submersible pump. Uh, you never want a pedestal or whatever. And, and the most popular one that they sell is this Zoller M53 Mighty Mate for 170 I think that's a two-year warranty on that. And what I did was I bought two pumps. I bought the M63, which is an upgrade. Components are a little heavier, comes with a five-year warranty. And um, to me, it's just worth it to have this thing as a hot spare, all plumbed up, ready for a plumber. You know, because the problem that I have is, is I'm, I'm a, a snowbird. I live six months in Florida and I live six months in New York. And... Unfortunately, I live near a lake and the water table is high here, so my sump pump is active. My wife had so much anxiety the first month we were here because the pump, it was a rainy season and the pump was going off every three, four minutes. And I thought to myself, well, heck, what am I going to do? I need notification, you know, and I can't just have notification that's going to, you know, send off a buzzer. You know, they've, they've got stuff like this. A water alarm. Well, to me, that's fine if you live in the basement and you're staring at your sump pump and you don't go anywhere because if that baby's going off, you know nobody's going to know it if nobody's home. So don't even consider these. They're they're no good. You need something smarter. Now here's a step up. Uh, this will actually tell you uh, if you have a, a leak, high humidity, a uh, low temperature. Uh, $219, but the truth of the matter is you, you need more than this. Uh, there's a couple of them like this. There's another one that's less money made by Pump Spy for $159. And, you know, if, if it's, it's all your budget can afford, I'd go with a Pump Spy product just because I'm familiar with them. And, uh, you know, it's less money, uh, $60 less. So, but what you really need is something that's going to monitor your basement and have a battery backup. Now, this basement watchdog, I would stay away from this too. These are popular. They got a lot of these at uh, you know, Home Depot and, and Lowe's. And, you know, they just don't do enough. They're not giving me notifications. And it's just a basic setup. And that's why the price is so cheap because they don't do much. And, and the pump doesn't look too beefy either. So what you need to do is step it up a little bit. Now, here's one for $1,700. But not only do I not like this for the price, but I've read some reviews where this is a bit proprietary. And if you have one component go bad, well, you got to change the whole thing out. So I'm not fond of that either, but I wanted to bring it up and show it to you. And that's a good company, Wayne. But... You know, and this has it all. This even includes the battery. Uh, if you uh, take a look at this unit here, I think this is what you really need. And this is what I have. And I, I've had it for years now. And it will send me texts. It will send me emails. 
it will let me know uh, if my battery needs a replacement. It actually tests that. It's going to monthly, it's going to test the uh, battery backup pump here. You know, keep in mind, this is assuming that you have a pump in your pit already. If you have a pump that's a cheap pump, get rid of it. Get the Zollers I talked about. And then go ahead and get this pump spy kit. Now, this does not include a battery. So you're going to have to get a high quality battery. Now, they, they do have their own line of batteries. But uh, I, I don't know. I, I want to buy a battery that's not sitting on the shelf long. It's got a good name. So I'm going to make a recommendation for this battery made by DECA. Uh, it's just a marine battery. And it's uh, the, the battery that Pumps Buy wants has to be a 75 amp hour AGM battery. And all AGM means is if it tips over, it's not going to spill. And uh, this DECA is 79 amp hours. Now, this says $300 on Amazon, and if you're desperate and you need one, you don't have a battery store near you, well, you may have to go ahead and use the link I'm going to provide to get one. But if you have a battery world or a battery store nearby, see if they can get this for you. If not, just tell them you want an AGM uh, battery that has at least uh, 75 amp hours, uh, no higher than 80 amp hours. I wouldn't go. And once you get all of these pieces of the puzzle put together, uh, and I will say too that when you're when you're plumbing all this stuff, if you're not a plumber, you know, make sure that you follow the directions. The Zoller uh, pumps that we talked about earlier, they have uh, they have a uh, a vent already built into them, but you also want to put a vent in your uh, your exit pipe too and there's a lot of uh, information on that it's really simple you're just you're just drilling a 3 16 hole in the plastic pvc pipe before you get to your uh, your one-way valves so um, but you know once you get all of these pieces of the puzzle put together now you're going to know no matter if you're 1,300 miles away, you know, obviously you're going to have to have somebody have a key and let a plumber in or a friend who's a plumber. But uh, you're going to be able to sleep easy at night knowing that your, your system not only has a battery backup, but it's got notifications and it's got monitoring and testing. I have not found anything that comes close to this pump spy. And, and that's my recommendation. That's the one you want to get. So, uh, and if you put all the pieces of the puzzle together and you buy yourself two Zolder pumps, you know, have that hot spare waiting for that plumber, you know, you're going to be way less than that 1700 and you're going to have pumps included, you know, a hot spare pump. So, uh, you know, that'll do it. Uh, I hope you learned a lot and make sure you check with that insurance agent and, and uh, make sure your policy covers any type of loss for a sump pump failure. And if you like the video, please subscribe to my Pompano Brownie channel and hit that bell for any uh, notification reminders and new videos that are coming out. That'll do it for this video.